Hello, this time I will introduce you to another extremely simple metal detector whose making requires only one chip integrated circuit. The project was presented in Everyday Practical Electronics magazine by Thomas Scarborough in June 2006. At the expense of simplicity, the results are incredibly good. The device is characterized by excellent stability and sensitivity. So, for example, a small metal coin can be detected at a distance of 10 to 15 centimeters and a larger metal object at more than 50 centimeters. As I mentioned before, the device is very simple to make and contains only a few components. Uh, TL084 general purpose quad operational amplifier. You can also use TL074 or TL064. Uh, next small variable capacitor with capacitance of about 100 picofarads taken from an old portable AM radio. Crystal earpiece who need to be con to connect to this jack and search coils. The concept borrows characteristic of BFO, B frequency oscillator, and IB induction balance principle. So this can be called also BB, bit balance metal detector. The main characteristics of bit balance are as follows. Depending of the on the way it is designed, a BB metal detector potentially offers a same sensitivity as induction balance. Uh, next, next, it requires no receiver, amplifier or level detector, thus significantly simplifying designing and reducing a cost. Both search oscillators are identical, uh, therefore the BB offers a high immunity to voltage and temperature variations. Also, each, coil, uh, each search coil has the opposite response to metal, thus BB has a high degree of immunity to ground mineralization. The two coils should be identical and the method of making is as follows. Each coil has a diameter of 12 cm and consists 70 turns of 0.42 mm enameled copper wire. Then coils are folded uh, in the shape of the letter D, wrapped tape around them, screened them using aluminum foil bound with Tint copper wire, taking care to leave a small gap so that the screens doesn't behave like a shorter turn, and tie wrap it then on a pl plastic plate. Uh, next, we need to attach the coils to the circuit by means of the specific microphone cable, being careful to identify the beginning and the end wires correctly as shown. Uh, setting up the metal detector is very simple. First, we need to place the two windings so that the gap between them is the smallest and the variable capacitor is in the middle position. A very high frequency tone is now here on the handset. Next, we need to gradually increase the overlap, reducing the frequency of the sound in the handset. So we continue Continue until the moment when the sound is lost. Then move the variable capacitor to the moment when a sound with the lowest frequency is heard. Now detector is the most sensitive. Uh, detec the detector works su su surprisingly stable, but from time to time it needs to be precisely adjusted with the variable capacitor. And now let's see how the device works in reality. For a clear representation, I connect the headphone output to an audio amplifier. Also, is the headphone volume is quite sufficient for outdoor, for outdoor work. Uh, in the video, you can follow the sensitivity of this detector in the air. On the ground, the situation is completely different and depends on its composition and humidity. humidity.
In continuation of video describes in detail the construction of the entire device.